They know that if they take you home, you do all the necessary things, you are binding. Your, your marriage is binding, both legally, everywhere, especially if you do the traditional one, you do the white one, you do the court one, all in Nigeria, so it is binding. But they know that if they take you just for a court wedding, it is not as binding in Nigeria because... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary and your girl. I'm super excited to have you back on my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please consider subscribing. Yes, we will love each other, okay? If you're my subscriber, I really do appreciate you. Thanks for always coming back to what. So into this video, I'm going to be talking about what most foreign women are often you know worried about i'm saying this because i've been getting charts calls messages from foreign women who would usually tell me of their fears okay and then i would tell them i would often advise them in the way that i can but the truth is one of them told me you know what marianne why don't you just make a video for us let us understand we do understand those things when you make a video because then we will watch to understand you i'm like okay sis i'm gonna make a video of this and so that is why you have me here today and i'm going to be telling you of the secret fears of foreign women and i'm going to be debunking whatever it is that you have in mind and actually tell you what should actually be your secret worry which shouldn't be if you had to discuss that with your nigerian man because instead of it worrying you you just discuss this with your man so that at least you know your position you shouldn't have to be a worry okay so if you'd like to know about the secret fears of most women dating nigerian men who are non-nigerians and what they should actually be scared of from my side then go ahead and watch this video Okay, welcome back guys okay let me tell you something now many of the women who have chatted me I took all those questions and I picked two important questions from them and I'm going to be addressing those questions okay and I hope I'm speaking loud enough or I'm speaking properly because I kind of have you know a bit of cold but I'm still trying you know your girl your girls to gotta do what your girls to gotta do okay so now let me tell you of all the questions and of all the tests, I summarized the two most important questions that uh, foreign women have about Nigerian men or would I say the two worries or the two fears that they often have in their hearts while dating Nigerian men. Now the first one will be that Nigerian families prefer their sons to marry women from back home. That they prefer the sons to have Nigerian wives as their wives that this is more important for them okay this is more important to them and anyways they keep pushing their sons to come back home and marry you know Nigerian wives and so because of this they are worried they're scared sick that if they go ahead to marry a man who's Nigerian he may be forced to go back home and take a wife back home because their parents their culture and whatever it is wants them to marry from home now that is one thing that we will talk about in this video the second fear that they have, which is also related to the first fear, is that no matter what they do, no matter how they try, they will never really be accepted by the Nigerian society or by the family or the families of these guys. Now, this is the second fear. And I feel they're both related because people are asking from all corners, okay? Because whereby they feel like they want them to marry from back home. Secondly, they are feeling like, okay, if ever they get married to this guy that this guy will eventually go back home with them and they may not be accepted and now this is what we're going to be talking about today first of all i need you to clear your minds on anything concerning being accepted by the nigerian society and nigerian parents or families forcing their sons to marry from back home and i'm going to clear this right now for you Back in the days, there used to be something like that because you know Nigeria is mixed culture, mixed ethnicity, mixed everything. Like Nigeria has 36 states and capitals and all the states, they all have their different tribes, different languages. Like Nigeria is like, 
I don't know. Nigeria is not supposed to be a country, actually. So it is, we have diverse culture. Now, back in the days, most people would want their children to marry back home, like from their own culture, instead of going to the other culture or going to, you know, to the next culture. The Igbos who want their children to marry the Igbos, the Yorubas who want their children to marry Yorubas, Hausas who want the same, okay? It was even so hard for you to find an Igbo person marrying a Yoruba person back in the days. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. But presently, gone are those days that parents talk about you know wanting their children to marry let's say same tribe same tradition same this same that gone are the days those things have long gone they've gone away now parents understand that their children have the choice the sole choice to choose whoever they want to marry all they beg is that you know bring someone closer home yet yeah, it is true they beg okay bring someone closer home so now it's not a thing even some time ago you won't even as in me marrying my husband would have been a problem because we're both different tribes although close closer tribes who were different okay so he's Igbo and i'm delta you see what i'm talking about meanwhile back in the days it would have been really so hard but as times have changed and things have really really changed do not say this anymore and even if they go if the children go and then they marry someone who's a nation another nationality then as long as that child wants it or as long as that man wants it they won't do anything they're really very receptive okay so if you're thinking that it is a big deal like let's just say you're in love with one guy and this guy is giving you stories of how his parents want him to marry back home he doesn't know what to do he's still gonna try to talk to them he's just playing you yes yes sisters he's playing you he's trying to just give you a reason to see that you guys are not you know you know what i mean it doesn't mean it's it's not his parents it's him he's the one who's not wanting to commit He's just using his parents and his tradition as an excuse because if he takes you back home and says to his parents daddy mommy meet my girl this is the person i want to marry and they check you out and they confirm that he loves you I'm going to marry you and make you their wife and they will all accept you now this is what i'm talking about so please let's not concern ourselves with things like that because that's not even an issue now, you may want to ask me, so Miriam, what is an issue that we could actually concern ourselves with and try to make sure that it is settled before we move on to get married to a Nigerian man? I will tell you now. There are two things that are important that you should make sure you have tackled before you decide to commit to your Nigerian man. And those two things for me would be children, okay? children and your marriage mm -hmm. for me i'm just telling you as miriam as mimi girl okay now let me tell you why it's very important now talk about age you know this thing where i've often told you guys that nigerian men they prefer to marry people they are older than so if you are a woman and you are older than your nigerian man <laughs> you have to stop take a deep breath relax and think about it because nigerian men love 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 to have children in fact it's even more important than you it may not be now but it will be later their quest their quest for having children will be greater than the love that they have for you not in all circumstances, but in most circumstances. I'm telling you this, and I know what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm telling you. They can do anything to have children. So if you are both 45, you're past menopause, you cannot have children. And he's telling you, it's okay, baby, I don't mind. That's a lie. That is something you should have in your mind. If he's telling you that, 100%, he has second plans. He has a second plan believe me if you don't let's forget about it it's okay so now something else you might want you might want to concern yourself with is 
marriage now i'm saying this because i've now realized that most men most nigerian men who are in relationships with foreign women they know how important marriage is in nigeria okay they know that if they take you home you do all the necessary things you are binding your your marriage is binding both legally everywhere especially if you do the traditional one you do the white one you do the court one all in nigeria so it is binding but they know that if they take you just for a court wedding it is not as binding in nigeria because traditional marriage supersedes any form of marriage we are nigerians we are africans we have tradition and that is you know it's harder it's going to supersede everything so what we nigerians do like for example me miriam i don't know i would have loved to show you my 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 my, my you know my frame i i had the traditional wedding and then i had the white wedding and then we proceeded to the court to finalize so i did three forms of marriage okay now you as a foreign woman just going with a nigerian man in a place, a hideout. Nigerians do not do a lot and go get married and then you get back. Oh, mom, look, I got married. And it was like, what? Congratulations. There is nothing like, nothing like that in the Nigerian culture. If you must get married, it should be a thing of the family. It should be the talk of your town, that town where you are from. Everybody would know that Miriam got married. What so 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 person got married. The child of so 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 person got married. The child of so 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 person from that village got married because they will be there. That is what the marriage is. And if you decide to go to the church, Mommy. it is us. I'm coming, my love. Yes. Okay, please. We just Let me just finish. Yes. All right, just wait for me. And if you do, and if you decide to go to the church, you have to do the normal church wedding. But I have often noticed that men would usually just take a woman, a foreign woman, directly to court, knowing that court would just be, court would require only one, two, three representatives, and then it's done. And that marriage may never ever be anything because they know that that marriage is nothing. That in the presence of uh, tradition, a tradition supersedes. You understand? So in the traditional way, if you get married already and you got married in a Christian way and in the court way now, it's binding. But going with somebody, one person, two people, three people, four people to the court to get married, no one no one knows you were married to this guy no one not even his people not even his people so he could go back next month and get married in his village with a very lavish wedding and everyone is happy smiling and eating so that you come back after one year to say oh no he's my husband i'm there like who knows you husband to who and even the elders will tell you my dear this man is the husband of this woman she is the one that we know as his wife so what i'm sharing with you right here is the fact that i know of someone who jokingly said his girlfriend is coming and they're gonna go to the court to get married asking his other friend get ready you're gonna be my best man let's just do this thing and get it over with can you imagine meaning let's just do this what Please, my ladies, do not let me talk too much. These are the things that you should consign yourself with, not the other things. If he accepts you, his people accept you, you are accepted. But if he plays with you in that way and goes just to marry you, what would it profit you? So this is all I have for you. So without further ado, do have a lovely day, do have a blessed day, stay happy, stay blessed, and bye-bye. Bye! Bye, baby.